Today we're going to watch a very TikTok video where this beautiful mademoiselle tells us that she is afraid of American flags. Should I have given a trigger warning because this video does have a couple of American flags. So if she actually watches it, um, I hope it doesn't cause any trauma. I, I hope she manages to uh, live with this experience. But uh, anyway, enough ado. Let's listen to what she has to say. I'm just going to say it. There are too many American flags. Like they're on houses, they're on cars, some them on couch cushions. I wonder like what would the solution be? Um, th these flags are being placed voluntarily by people. It's not like someone forces people to put them up or the government is putting them. No, no, no. It's like random people put on the flags. Now, what would the solution be? Like force people to not remove their free will? Like, I don't know who's making these American flags, but they'd be making... Probably the Chinese, unironically. Like, if you look at an American flag, you may see made in China. It wouldn't be that unusual. Making a bloody fortune. And like, you're the only country that I know that does this. Why, why do all the countries have to do the same thing, though? Like, like if you're a tourist or, you know, you're coming from another place, why do you want to change the place you moved in? Like, I assume there's reasons why you left your country. So, so why would you want the country you moved in to become like the country you left? Yeah, probably America does make more flags than other nations, and I'll tell you why. In case you didn't notice, there's a lot of European countries that went to America. So you have, like, people from different cultures whether they're Germans, Italian, English, they speak different languages, but now they live under the same roof. So they have to find a common unifier, which is the pledge allegiance to the fucking flag, right? Meanwhile, in Europe, you have world wars, like all these other people are killing each other by the millions, and in the Americas, they're working together. This is why, like they, they realize, okay, well, you're Italian, you're German, let's all pick a language, English, everyone speaks English now. We're one culture, we pledge allegiance to the flag, and then we work together. Like that 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 unity gave them the power to win World War II. Without that, you would have what you had in Europe, where the nations were fighting over each other, like both in World War One, both in World War Two. You'd have probably had World War Three if it wasn't for the atomic bomb. Right? So this is why they like the flag. Because it represents the nation. It is something that's worth fighting for. I mean, even in Ukraine, you get to see that the people are fighting for the Ukrainian flag, right? They're not fighting for any other flag. They're not fighting for a corporate logo. Uh, they're not fighting for TikTok. Uh, they're not fighting for the rainbow flag, which is also a good point. You know, if you went there and you see LGBT flags everywhere, there are places in London where you can see this. Like there are certain places in London, especially during Pride Month, there's LGBT flags literally everywhere, right? Would you complain about that? Like, would you make a video and say, oh my god, there's too many rainbow flags here? Right, 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 right. Would you? Well, I, I have a feeling you wouldn't. So, like, why is one flag okay, but the other one isn't? I noticed that there's this uh, small minority, not, not a big one, but, like, it's a small minority on the internet where people are starting to treat the American flag like it's a hate symbol. You know, it's very interesting. Like, the only time I think I've ever seen an Australian flag is, like, on the Harbour Bridge. Could not tell you what it looks like. like. I mean, that's disappointing. Like, if you don't know how the flag of your country looks like, that's your problem. Um, but, like, if you're in Europe, you'd probably see a lot of European Union flags. I'm pretty sure that in China, you get to see a lot of Chinese flags. Like, this is not even that unusual. I mean, unless, like, she found a place where there's, like, a phenomenally high number of flags. But even then, like, what's the problem? Like, people like to display the symbols that they adore. And I'm willing to bet a lot of those people are willing to die for that flag. Again, you know, like if, if uh, let's say there would be a conflict between China and Taiwan and it would extend to Australia. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be upset if the Americans come to defend your ass. And they will probably bring a flag with them. I know it's like blue and it's got some stars on it. But I, I think I could draw the American flag from memory. Like, I think I could make a bloody sculpture out of it. That's how many times I've seen it. It's enough. Let's pull back on it, okay? This is like the definition of the tourist. They do this in video games as well, right? So you choose to come to America from Australia, right? And they welcome you with open arms. And the first thing you do is like, okay, well, this is American tradition that I don't like. We, well, what do you mean we? Oh, now, now all of a sudden it's we, is it? Oh, well, how about this? Is there more of them than you in America? How about your part of the we that has to do what they do? 
H how about you put up a flag? You went to America, right? So you see everyone puts up a flag. Why don't you put one? That we need to put up flags now. Oh, that all of a sudden it doesn't work that way. But like, I, I, I notice these people like they, they're tunists, aren't they? Um, I, some would even call them colonizers. Uh, when, when you go to a, a place that you didn't build, you didn't create, and you want to change it to, in your image, you want to push your ideology. And her ideology, I guess, is that a nation isn't um, a group of people that have roots and connections and traditions to each other, and they have a history together. No. The correct vision is the, the fact that the nation is just a piece of land where economic transactions happen. And as much as you pump the wealth, right, it doesn't matter anything else. Like, as long as you pump the wealth, you can have income disparity, whatever. As long as the corporations are happy, it's fine, right? Like, this is the bright new vision. This is the bright new future um, that, that, I guess, like, society progresses from the evil concept of nationality in the past. It's just like... A place where economic transactions happen. Uh, unfortunately, many disagree with you, and uh, they put up their flags. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, I, I do understand, like, when it comes to America and their flag, they, they do treat it with a lot more respect and a lot more reverence than other nations. Uh, but I think that's a good thing. Like, unfortunately, I, I do think that uh, this actually creates cohesion. It creates people getting together and having a symbol that they can unite under. And again, like, you, you notice the same now happening with the LGBT movement, right? Like, they have their flag. Imagine a video where she would complain that there's too many LGBT flags. Like, you'd probably get the video suspended off TikTok for hate speech. But so, so now you have, like, on the internet, you have a flag that is actually more protected than the American flag, right? Because you can do whatever you want to the American flag because it's actually covered by free speech. So as long as the flag is yours and you don't uh, do it to someone else, then it's allowed, right? But like if it's an LGBT flag, uh, if you, let's say, do something disrespectful to it and you post it on social media, chances are the video gets banned. Um, now what's also interesting is if you take someone else's American flag and you set it on fire... Uh, from what I understand, uh, it's not a hate crime. Like, it's still a crime because it's not your property and you vandalize someone else's property. So you still uh, are considered a criminal. But it's not a hate crime. But if you do it to an LGBT flag, then it's a hate crime in some states. I find that interesting. So now you have, like, a flag, which, again, like, people aren't expected to go to war with, right? And you're not expected to die for that flag. Uh, but it's more promoted and more encouraged than the actual flag of the nation. Which you have to pay taxes to, right? And it has to give welfare. Like most of the leftists, they hate the American flag, but they love the welfare system. So they want you to pay taxes to the nation whose flag you don't represent. It's very interesting. I mean, it's the same like going into a corporation and complaining that there's too many logos there. You know, you go into Microsoft, like, oh, Microsoft logo here, man, Microsoft logo there. Why are there so many logos? Like, anyway, right. Um, I just found this video to be very interesting. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.